Proverbs 35 says, Every word of God proves true. He is a shield to those who take refuge in him. Proverbs 35. Every word of God proves true. God himself is truth, and we know that Jesus Christ is the way, the truth, and the life. And Jesus Christ is the revealed truth of God's nature, which is the triune God, which we know from John 4.24 that God is spirit. But Jesus Christ originally, uh, when he was the Logos, he was invisible and corporeal. But when he came into the God-man of Jesus Christ, he took on the physical form and physical representation of God in order that we could see truth, not merely just here, but we could see truth living and see what truth looks like when walking upon this earth as well as what the disposition is for looking ahead and looking towards thing, uh, looking on things above. And so God's word is true. No matter how many people have tried to get rid of this book, it still continues to go on. It's not some uh, mythology book. Anyone that says that has just taken a lack of effort and quite frankly has just gone with the popular level atheists who really don't do any deep dive research and aren't willing to take the time to see that there is massive credibility in the Gospels, not merely the Gospels themselves, but also the documents by which the Gospels were written. Uh, previously, there's there's just so much um, manuscripts and data and uh, documents that uh, continue the message and boost the credibility that what this book says is in fact true. It's of real people, real places, and real events. And so uh, God's word is true, and man can try to get rid of it, but it's not going anywhere. It's going to continue to stay. And God is a shield to those who take refuge in him. In order to be protected by God, we have to first see God as truth and we need to desire truth over our ways. And that is the, the goal that should be for every Christian is not to seek validation of our opinions, but to seek truth. Every man and woman should have that disposition, but sadly that is most certainly not the case in this 21st century that we are living in. But nonetheless, when we continue to seek truth and desire truth and desire to live in it and pursue it and to know it, which is to know him, because Jesus Christ is truth and God is truth, once we do that, then we have uh, the ability to be protected by God. We are able to have the refuge of him when we believe Jesus Christ is Lord and Savior and we repent of our sins and we enter into truth. We don't merely just hear it, but we, we enter in and then truth continues to guide us, which is also the Holy Spirit because God, the Trinity God is in the entirety of truth. And so when we uh, continue to live in truth, seek truth, and we seek to deny ourselves of all that we know and our sin and our selfish ways, when we do this, then God will protect us because whoever is covered by the blood is covered by God the Heavenly Father and is also sealed by the Holy Spirit. And so we can have God as our shield and refuge. We can run to him when we are weary. We can cast our anxieties and cares on Christ because he cares for us. We can come boldly to the throne of grace uh, in this life when we fall short. We have access to everything because we have denied ourselves and we have placed truth, which is God, above uh, our flesh and our pleasures, which is deception and it's false. Because anything that we want the fleshly man is contrary to truth because the fleshly man wants credit for everything. They want to do what is feels good, what uh, boosts one's uh, perception of themselves to the public. Everything is just false fulfillment and it is deceiving when it comes from the fleshly man. But the spiritual man who is seeking God will seek truth and then he'll be covered by truth because truth is living within. And then he is able to go to God and receive all the promises and blessings of God because he has taken that initial step of humbling and denying himself, and then taking up the cross, and then following Christ. So may we give thanks to the Lord that his word continues to go on despite what other people say. It's still here. It continues to go on. It continues to prove true for those who genuinely take the time to see what it has to say. And uh, may we just give praise to God that he is willing 
uh, and able to do abundantly more than we can ask or think and, and that his ways are not our ways, his thoughts are not our thoughts and that he is working everything out for a greater good and that whatever is happening in our life, whether that's joy, happiness, dancing or suffering, persecution and famine, whatever it is that's going on, God is there with us. He is in the fire and the flood and he is the one that we can run to and take refuge in and he is the shield by which we can be protected from satan's arrows of 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 darkness and when we uh, continue to seek truth we put on the armor of truth the full armor we put on the full armor of god and then we we belt it up with the belt of truth and when we do that we are protected by the enemy and the world and our sin and everything else that would seek to divert us from God. And it's just that blessing to know that God is for us and not against us and that we have God inside us. He's protecting us around us. He has saved us if we've entered into the faith by uh, repentant faith. And therefore, God is our shield. We can trust him that he is not going to allow anything to happen without his saying so. And we can have peace and assurance that as long as we are seeking truth and we have the truth, then truth will protect us because truth is God himself and God himself is truth. And there is nothing greater than to know God and then to show God to the world.